To create a circuit using the FlexLogic Equation Editor, double click on it, and we're going to generate uh, two inputs. We're going to add them together to generate a virtual output. Now this is using the re reverse Polish notation. We have to put our inputs in first, then our operands, sorry, first our operands, then our operator, and then finally the output, the virtual output. So the first one is our contact input. The second one, I'll use another contact input. I'll use a different one. And now the operator, this will be our AND function. And to finally close it off, last line to close off the subroutine is the assign virtual output. We'll create another circuit for protection. So what we'll do is we'll take the uh, an IOC and a TOC function. So we'll press the letter P until we get down to the protection element of choice. Pressing the letter P again. And we're going to OR these together. And then we'll assign this to a virtual output. You can see this virtual output has become red because, because the guidelines are in FlexLogic that we cannot duplicate uh, we can assign a, the same virtual output to two different equations. So we'll assign this to the second one and this one clears. To view it, select view. And there we can see our inputs, so our, our, our operands, our operator, and then our virtual output. And then we can select save and this then this this will save it into the file. After loading this setting into the relay, we can look at it from the online window. And the appearance is similar. The only thing that it has done is it's added the date to when the, the change occurred. Selecting view still provides the same view where you can see the inputs, uh, the operator, and the virtual outputs. This does not give a live representation of the, the, the status of the inputs or the virtual outputs. If you make any changes here, so when you right click, you can copy a circuit, you can paste, you can insert, you can also delete. So if I, if I wanted to duplicate this circuit, I can. So I hit Control C or I can do a copy and come down here and do paste. The only thing I have to do is make sure there's no duplication on the virtual output. I'll make the necessary change. And then when I save it, this will be saved directly into the relay. The information is now uh, updated, indicating the date and time when the changes were last saved and completed.